Hello out there. I see Bear. Hey Bear. How are you? So I've been playing this game on my own for a while, so I'm gonna let you in. A live stream. Look, there's, oh, my, there's my Steam friends making a cameo. So we're gonna play a franchise zoo, I think. Ooh. We'll start a new franchise zoo for the stream. I, I'm not entirely sure. Let me know how the sound balance is to anybody out there. Um, these are the ones I've been making myself. But we'll start a new one uh, just for us to play around with. I did some tests on making sure I can actually stream this game and like it will actually work. And so I brought up one of my older zoos and it definitely was having some struggle buses, but it made it. Um, let's see, let's try for a tropical. I haven't done a tropical one yet. I think that's nice. Um, what's a continent I haven't been to yet? Have I done one on Asia? I think I did my last one in Oceania. So let's do a tropical zoo in Asia. I think that'll be fun. Sorry I haven't streamed on here in a while too, other than like the one Stardew stream a little bit ago. Uh, I've been kept busy with the 40 days of uh, FactBob thing on Fort Haven, and I just haven't had time to stream because I've been doing more videos. What shall we name this? Oh, I know what we're going to name this. We're going to name this the Silly Putty Zoo. Hopefully Silly Putty will show up, and then I'll explain why. This is going to be named Silly Putty Zoo. Do, do, do. Now, I warn you, I have, like... Like, I've played this, I kind of know what I'm doing, but I am nowhere near the, like, construction level some people are. I just don't have the patience for, like, building signs and stuff. I just really love building exhibits. Um, so I have the game paused now. I suppose... Bear's watched me play a few times, so I won't go into how this game works too much until somebody else shows up. Just so that I don't have to... Like, I don't mind explaining games at all. I'm happy to. But then I'm not saying it, like, eight times. But we are going to start here. Um, so whenever... I guess I'll still talk through some of it. Uh, but whenever I start off a new franchise zoo, I like to flatten the ground near the front of the zoo just because it makes it easier to build an opening. So even though it kind of looks like this should all be level, it actually isn't. Actually, why we're doing this? Let's make it soil. Just because then, like I like the long grass, it's a cool effect, but then I can't see what my ground looks like. I don't think it'll cost a whole lot of extra money if it costs any extra money at all to repaint it. Uh, what's cool is in the different biomes, the stuff looks different. Yes, zoo time! So like, soil has a different color palette to it in like the desert versus tropical versus grassland it's really kind of interesting it's a neat detail there's the part of me that really likes that like i like that there's some kind of change by biome that i just have to deal with but i also wish i could select a different color palette just because it would be cool but this way I'll kind of know, I don't usually do this, change the, uh, change the terrain, but I'm doing it this time so I kind of know where I have flattened things already. Um, so we'll see, the last time I started a new zoo in franchise mode, I did not have the same financial struggles that I've had other times when I started new zoos. So hopefully we won't go into massive amounts of debt on this stream, but we'll see. The trick is to start, like, have your first exhibit be something really cool. That's some, something that people really want to see. And I have that advantage. So this is franchise mode. So there's scenario mode or story mode or challenge. I can't remember what it's called. But it's the one that has, like, um, the scenarios the game creates. So, like, if you're familiar with Planet Zoo, or if you're familiar with Zoo Tycoon or, say, um, uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon, like, there were scenarios. Then there's sandbox mode, which I don't frankly play a lot in, and I probably should because it would help me 
get better because I wouldn't have limitations. This is really cool. I like what the soil looks like and tropical biome. Um, and then there's this one, which is franchise. So you'll see that I have $40,000, which is how all franchises start. But I have a ton of these conservation credits. And the best way I can explain conservation credits is they're like a premium currency if you're used to like premium games where you can buy stuff. Only this isn't like Planet Zoo doesn't have um, internal like in-app purchases type stuff. So it's not really a premium currency, but it's like a secondary currency that you have to earn. That gets shared across my zoos. So I have a lot of conservation credits because this is like my, I mean, you guys saw my list. It was like, this is like my fifth or sixth franchise. Um, so those will carry over. So because of that, I can get a really rare animal to start out with. You can see my windows bar keeps popping up. Um, I can get a really rare animal to start out with, which is cool. Uh, even though I can't necessarily afford one with regular money. I want to make this match the width there. In fact, I might change. That's a waste of money, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, so what we're going to do is align the grid. I hate the pathing system in this game. I've still not fully figured it out. Um, but we're basically just going to make a big open space for people. Uh, right off the bat. I've learned that with my franchises is assume your zoo will become busy one day and make it big. So how do I want the opening? How do I want to design the beginning of the zoo? I just played one of the Arctic scenarios um, and uh, they had like a really cool big centerpiece at the front and I've never tried that. I still never try making big curvy things. Have the grid selected to enable square path? Oh! There you go. Learn something new every day. Let's do that. Um, so I think I'm gonna leave like a lot, we'll do one more row here. So it's very spacious at the front. Which will help. And then we'll leave room for like a big I mean, the, the one in the Arctic scenario path was bigger, but we'll leave room for, like, a cool... We'll put in something decorative there um, that people can look at. This is the most fascinating part of the game, where you just build paths. Everyone is like, man, I can't wait for the paths. Now, you'll see here I'm getting off of my uh, flattened part, which is fine, because now that I'm in the grid mode, it will flatten the path to this. Um, so it'll work quite well. So the, the ground will become level with the rest of the zoo. So we're gonna do this. So my plan, which I'm completely making up as I go, as all good constructors do, is we'll build something pretty here. Um, and then this will just be like a space to do the pretty thing. I'll put two paths here. And then this is going to be space for um, shops, like uh, information booths, that sort of thing, right at the front of the zoo. And I think that'll be good. So this is a pretty good open. Um, and then here is where we're going to put in exhibits. As we check our... I can get power to here. So I've actually kind of built outside of my free power, but that's okay. Um, but this is just going to be, let's go ahead and make this one more wide. I just, I've learned you can't be overly cautious with how big the beginning of your zoo is. So we're going to put a really cool, some kind of really cool animal here. I haven't decided yet what we're going to do, but we're going to put something cool there. Let's pick, uh, let's deselect the grid. Um, we'll go right up to like here. And then this, this is just going to be a viewing area for whatever we build. This is where that path is going to go. And this can be a little bit less grid-like. Actually, no, it's fine. I was just thinking that I might have wanted the less room for the path to come off of here, but we can just extend it off to the left and the right, so it's fine. Um, this will be where you can view whatever it is we built first. 
Uh, but before we go on with that, we're going to need to build some staff buildings because right now I can't even get any animals in because we don't even have like the things we need to do to get the animals in. So that's exciting. So let's figure that out. Let's go back to train, flatten the foundation. Flatten the foundation means it will make everything level to the spot where I started, basically. So we're gonna build a staff area right off of here. Um, and the reason why I want that separate is guests don't like to view staff buildings. So we wanna get it a little bit away uh, so that we can have it tucked away so our guests don't necessarily have to look at it. Now where's my power? My power only goes out this far, which is fine because I'm gonna need some more stuff anyway. Okay, so I might have to power some of these buildings with their own thing. That's okay. So let's go to facilities, staff facilities. Let's start with a keeper hut and let's go ahead and build a big keeper hut. Um, so you can spend more money and get like these super fancy, nice looking decorative ones. Um, and I mean, it's not that much money. It's 800 more than the base building. Or some of them are really expensive if you want to get the really fancy looking ones. Um, just, I, this is going to be far enough away that I don't need to get the fancy looking ones, but I like it. And I don't like, I'm, like, the construction part is the part of the game I struggle with. Like, I would never have the patience to build this. Something that looks like this. I shouldn't say I would never, but, like, I would have to be really bored in this game. <laughs> and, like, I can look at it and see how they design that, and I'm like, nah, I have so many other things to do. Um, so I built a large keeper hut, so that way more than one zookeeper can use it at a time. Um, we're gonna build a vet surgery. So vet surgeries are not something you necessarily need right away. You will need eventually when you get sick animals, this is where they go. So we'll go ahead and try to be as economical with space as possible. What's happening there is it's hitting the back border of the zoo. So there's the zoo surgery. The game will always tell you to build a quarantine. I've stopped building the quarantine as much in the beginning. It, it's frankly a better thing. Basically the idea is when you, the only time you use the quarantine is when you get an animal into your zoo, you can put it there first to make sure it doesn't have diseases or injuries before you put it in the exhibit. Um, and sometimes you can put an animal in a quarantine if, like, say you had issues with the exhibit and you needed to stick the animal somewhere. Early on in the game when we have limited funds, because, I mean, look how expensive these buildings are. I've stopped building quarantines at the beginning of the game because it, they're not... I don't want to say they're not necessary, but they're not necessary. Like, I, I would suggest you build them. But if you don't have a lot of money, like, there, there's something that can go, in my opinion. This is a staff room, so when I hire staff, it just gives them a place to rest. I probably don't need to buy as much of this right off the top of the game, but that's okay. Uh, and the only other thing we're going to buy right off the top is the Trade Center. And the Trade Center, because you have to have a Trade Center in order to get animals. If you don't have the Trade Center, you can't get animals in. So go ahead and put that there. Now, what I'm going to see here is these buildings aren't powered. They're away from my power thing. So we're going to go ahead and build. There's four, three power options. This is a water treatment thing, so that's a different thing entirely. Solar panel will not make your guests angry if they see it, uh, but it has the smallest uh, range of power. Wind turbine has a slightly larger range of power, and guests kind of don't like it, but it's really not that big of a deal. And then transformers have the biggest range. I mean, look how look at how much power that is. But guests really don't like to see it. Um, but and then there's just the do you care about having renewable energy in your zoo or not? And like in some of the scenarios, they um, make a big deal out of that. Um, but they don't make a big deal out of it in all scenarios. And frankly, I haven't really figured out what the big deal is about it in the game. Like, I don't know if you, like, maybe they're cheaper or something to do renewable. Um, 
If I was a better player, I'd look into that. That's okay. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and do a transformer just because it has the widest range. So now it's going to power all over here as well. I'm still going to have to stick something over here, but I can probably put a solar panel here and that will power whatever I need for this exhibit. Um, but this way I can do a bunch of power over here. Frankly, putting it more on this side would probably be better, but I don't know how much I'm going to turn this into a staff village or not. So it's not necessarily the most efficient place to put it, but it's also not the least efficient place to put it. So um, these are staff paths. Only staff will walk on staff paths, which is nice. So it's basically a way to tell your guests, hey, don't go over here and don't blame me if you see something you don't want to see. And the pathing system in this game is so weird. There you go. So now all of those are walkable. And then we'll do this. Um, I guess I'll do angle snap so it goes straight. You can increase the length of your path as well as the width, but I'm just not doing that right now. And then it can connect right there. So it's going to be a little bit of a hike for our staff, but it's not going to be bad. Uh, but now we've made our little staff area. So with that, we can decide what we want to build here because now, I don't know if you noticed, but this button was grayed out before. So that meant I couldn't look at the animal market because I didn't have a trade center. Now we have a trade center, so now we can look at the animal market. Um, but I find the animal market a little overwhelming to look at because in franchise mode, you're going to be able to see everything or like you're, you're going to have options for just about anything. So I look at the Zoopedia. So these are all the animals I can possibly get. Some of them, like pup adders, are what are called habit or uh, exhibit animals instead of habitat species. I just realized my camera is going to kind of block this a little bit, but I don't know what I can really do about that. Um, so those are a little bit different. I don't build big habitats for those. I build like these tiny exhibit boxes, which I might show you. I tend to not do a lot of exhibit animals because I feel like they're too much work with too little payoff, but that could just be me also. But a lot of these are animals that we can build. Um, I've just recently gotten the Deluxe Upgrade DLC as well as the Arctic DLC. Um, so some of these animals I've not actually built before. Uh, some of them I have, so we'll see. But I want to pick something like orangutan would be good um, right off the top. I want to figure out something that's going to be a rare animal. Like if we looked at this, it's see how it said critically endangered. Something that's more endangered is going to have more of a pull for people to come in. And it's going to be something that uses conservation credits instead of me spending like a lot of regular money, which I don't have a lot of. Um, more pull means more people. So we could do that. Uh, the other thing I was kind of thinking is um, on the main menu, it said there's a community event going on right now. So let me show you that. My camera's kind of blocking it, but they've already achieved it. The community's already done it, um, but basically it's uh, release pandas to the wild. And even though it's already been achieved, I can still get rewards for it. Um, so I was kind of thinking of starting with a panda exhibit, which is really expensive and it might be a bad idea to start with a panda exhibit. But then we could start taking part in the uh, community event and pandas would have a huge pull right off the top. Um, I don't think that would be a bad idea. So let's build, let's, let's just see what happens. I'm feeling pandas, but we'll see. So what I want to do is build a little bit of a ditch here. Um, Cause I kind of want this viewing area to be barrier free. I can put up a fence if I want, but, and I guess pandas are kind of shy. So they don't necessarily like what I want to do here. You'll note that I haven't done stuff here yet. You don't really start making money until you have animals. So right now this is kind of gross and blank, but we'll get there. We will get there. But there's this stamp tool and the stamp tool basically lets you put down blocks of earth like that. I'm going to get rid of that because I don't want it. Um, but you can add earth or you can take earth out based off of the shape. So what I'm going to do is I don't know how much a meter is because I'm American, uh, but we'll do 10 meters. I think 10 meters is a lot. Let's try, let's try eight meters. Um, there we go. Make a little pit. 
And then we'll go back to my favorite friend, flatten two foundation. And then we'll flatten a little ditch here, just like this. So basically people are gonna be able to walk up to the edge and see into the pandas instead of me having to put a fence up. That's gonna be kind of the, the idea behind what I'm doing. But I also want the pandas to be able to come in. I have thoughts. See, I want the path to come right up to the edge and the, the game's a little wacky. Like it's not gonna let me take away any more of that land because the path is here. So even though I've already put this path here just to kind of tell me where I want the path, we're gonna actually delete it. Or at least a lot of it. And the reason for that is now I can go back into terrain, go back and flatten the foundation, and flatten this like that. And now I'll be able to put the path right up to the edge, which will be good. Um, that'll kind of be the plan. And then let's smooth this. There we go. So that there's not like that weird cave thing there. Yeah, that's good. Okay, now we'll go back to paths. Now you can see here, see how it's got like a little nub? That just means my path width is not what it was. I think it was 20 before. Is that widening it or is that about what it was? Do I, do I have angle snap on? I do. I want to get as close to the edge here as I can. That will help people be able to see. This has been my pandemic stress purchase game. I bought this April, maybe, and maybe as soon as March. This has just been what I've done to stay sane. This is so relaxing, this game. Okay, so then what we'll do, we'll, you know, we'll have the space here. How much? Let's click on pandas. It's a little bit hard because you can't just search for pandas because they're actually the giant panda. So you have to be able to remember that. Someone's messaging me. Django's messaging me. Sending me TikToks. As he's wont to do. Um, what size am I looking for here? 10,000 square feet. Really, I'm going to want more than that because that's for one panda. I'm going to have more than one panda. Um... One day I'll be good enough to look at this and go, ah, yes, that is that far apart. That is not today. So what we'll do is we'll have a nice base land here. Plenty of cool spaces to see the pandas. Um, and I'll tell you what we're going to do. Can I? We're going to do, just, just work with me for a second. Stay with me. We're going to make this indent back here. This smaller flat foundation. Nope, bad. Bad game. You are not doing what I wish. I want you to create a cave. Careful. It's not going quite how I want it to, but we're getting there. Because the pandas are going to want a place to, like, chill out, basically. Do this, will it fill in the ground underneath? Nah, we're gonna make it work. We're gonna believe in our dreams and that this will achieve what I want it to achieve. Yes, okay, so now we've made like a little cave, and this will all make sense soon. One day, you'll look at this and go, oh, yes, that's what she was doing. Little, little cave. Can I, can I carve through here? Let's go tunnel. We're gonna dig a tunnel. Dig in a tunnel. This is really trippy. Like this kind of hurts my eyes. I can't lie. Whoa, what happened? The game was like, no. And it stopped me. Okay, let's go on from this side now. I have no idea if we're even going the right direction. Come on. Eh, sort of. It's sort of working. It almost worked. I don't think this is going to be tall enough for pandas. We'll find out. 
Got to keep some eye on my money, but we're doing okay money-wise right now. Wow, it's just, it gets here and then it's like, no. Um, rebuild this. Make my tool wider. There we go. I don't know how well you guys can hear the music. The music is very soothing as well. Ah! Freaking this camera. There we go. There we go! Tunnel! Tunnel! Guys, we made a tunnel! The camera is a little wacky about it, but we made one. It's there. It exists. There! It exists, I promise. I promise you it exists. Okay. I'm too excited about this tunnel right now. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll use the hole tool and pull the dirt out here. And what we're gonna try to do is make a slope, a gentle slope that is walkable. See, pandas are really shy, so I wanna make sure they have, even though they're gonna be right here at the front of the zoo, there's gonna be all kinds of people seeing them. I need to make sure they have a space they can go to hide. Now the question, I don't think that's quite walkable. I wish there was a way to check without having an animal in the exhibit, but I don't actually know if there is. This is nice. This is, this is, this is a good slope, I think. It's a pretty good slope. I think for pandas, I think they can do that. We'll we'll go with it. We'll 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 trust and see what happens. So how far back does it? that probably goes back about as far as there? So now we're gonna go to barriers. We'll get real barriers. I love wood, the wood logs, but they're at, they are climbable, and I'm presuming pandas can climb. So we'll go with we have concrete or we have brick. What's the aesthetic? I feel like the concrete just kind of goes with more. So what we're going to do is we're going to build here. Um, I like the curved sections because it just looks... I mean, this is, this is going to be a ridiculously obvious statement, but the curved sections intrinsically look less boxy. I don't like what I just did, though. Go here. We're going to do angle snap, but with curves. There we go. Who's next to me now? Us, oh, Gina, Gina, show. There we go. You should be coming. Okay. So we're going to do this. Angle snap means that it's only going to be able to go in like 90, 45, or 180 degree angles. So it's going to kind of help everything stay the same shape. Go back about that far. Start bringing it around. There we go. See, that looks nice. And then we'll do this little curve job there. And then we'll go null. And what null is, hey, there's Gina. Yes, I am wearing a hat just for zoo streaming. And I'm very proud of it. I appreciate you noticing. Uh, <laughs> so null is basically a fence that isn't there. What I'm telling the game is pretend there's a barrier here. Actually, we don't need angle snap or curve section for this. Um, pretend there's a barrier here, but there just isn't going to be one. It's just basically saying, game, use your imagination. And that way the game can know where the border of the exhibit is. Um, even though I'm using natural barriers, which is to say the pandas can't get out of there. At least I hope they can't. We're going to find out. Um, the other thing I need to put in is a habitat gate. So where do I want that? Is an excellent question I asked myself. Here's fine. Well, no, let's put it on this side. This isn't the prettiest place to put one, but it is gonna lessen the stress of the walk to the zoo area. Um, and then we'll go into paths, go into staff paths, small as one as we can, and we'll just make a little 
little staff pass. Why? Why? Why are you obstructed? It makes, there's no good reason for you to be obstructed. I call shenanigans. We'll do this. No, well, that's a lie. We'll do this. There we go. So that's, that's like generically there. Now let me just look at something that, that I should have looked at sooner. Um, they need 6.6 .6 feet, which I think is the base height. Like this is 6.5 feet. And if I were to do this, right, you can see, we'll just get rid of this in a second. But like, if that's a 6.5 foot fence, then that, that's definitely high enough that they will stay out or stay in rather. So this should be good. Um, the other thing we'll just do real quick before we do anything else, is we'll go into nature. We'll click on rocks. Hey, Caleb, welcome. Good to see everybody. I know I promised um, like to finish Dishonored, which I will still do. Uh, and I promised to stream like Bioshock and a whole bunch of other stuff, which are all things I will also still do. But this is just what I needed to do today. And I hope that maybe somewhere out there somebody else would appreciate this as well. That's just where we're at. We're gonna put some rocks here. And basically the pandas can't find the rocks. So even if the panda was like, I feel like walking on this small stretch of land, they won't be able to do anything about it. And we're gonna do the same thing here. We'll put that in. And so these rocks will just kind of stop the pandas from going out of the exhibit because they'll be like oh no there is a large rock in my way there you go now this exhibit is definitely not done but it's going to be hard for me to do anything else to it without the pandas you'll notice this does go back quite a ways um part of that is what i might do eventually as we expand the zoo out i can put a pathway back here and then people can also view the pandas from back here so there'll be like two panda viewing areas. So I'm not really worried about it being this deep right now. Um, but I have other ways to kind of hope that the pandas will come here and stay if, instead of being like super hidden back there. So we'll find out. Now we're going to go into animal trading. Um, no, now we're going to go into Zookedia. So pandas like one male, I think. Yeah, they like one male up to 10 females, I think is how this goes. This page is kind of confusing sometimes because it's like up to 10 males, up to 10 females, but actually only do this. Like, I don't, I don't understand it. I feel like, I feel like that list is weird sometimes. So that's okay. So we're going to filter this because you can see there's all kinds of animals we can get. So we're going to un uncheck the Himalayan ground bear, which is brown bear, which must be what I made on my last zoo. That must be why that's checked. Um, we'll do this. And that will show me only giant pandas. So now let's pick out our boy. We'll start with our boy. Um, we want as young of one as possible because our animals do age and get older. One, one as young as possible, but one that is not absurdly priced. A thousand or eleven hundred for a panda isn't bad. It doesn't have a very high longevity, do you know? I would not be opposed to paying two thousand for this. He's better. Eh. Um, I'm not opposed to paying 2000 eh, That's not bad. That's not bad. This is the eugenics portion of the game. Um, tell me... Show me the best... The best pandas. This isn't bad. This isn't bad at all, especially not for that price. Obviously you want these to be as high of percentages as possible. But we're gonna go with this guy. I feel, I have a good feeling about this guy. We're gonna adopt him. We're gonna move him in here. The game is still paused, so he's not gonna move in yet. We're gonna go back to the animal market. And now we're gonna select it to show me only lady pandas. Now we see only the lady pandas. This one is a comparable age. Come on game. Click on the panda. She has like no fertility whatsoever. This one also has, wow, that is really low fertility um, and low longevity gene. 
This this will change over time. Um, her other genetics are fine though, so we'll we'll adopt her because she's not expensive for a panda. Um, we'll leave that as is for now. Uh, and then we'll come back to that and get some other pandas here in a minute. The next thing we need to do is go to zoo, Let's go to staff. Uh, we need a caretaker. So the caretaker, uh, they're basically, they're like a janitor, but they also do more things. So they'll be who moves your animals to the exhibit. A vet can also do that. We have two pandas coming, so I need both. I need a vet anyway. And we need a zookeeper to feed them. Uh, other staff, we should get a mechanic at this point because you just don't want to not have a mechanic when you need one. Security, I've never found to be particularly necessary for the game, and we don't need a vendor until such a time as we have something to vend. I'm so popular right now. Okay, let's see what we got. So they're going to wander around and do stuff. I can uh, name staff members after people. Technically, I can name animals after people, but the animals will die, and that will make me sad because then it's like you die. I don't want that. So I probably won't name animals after people, but I will name other things for people if you want. Okay, let's do some nice. Since they're pandas, we'll we use some East Asia pinches. That seems nice. For when people come to see the pandas, always put in waste baskets because people are filthy. Do, 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 do. Okay, so now our pandas are in here. Now they're probably not going to be very happy with this exhibit, so let's check that out. See, their welfare is only 57%. Let's see what they don't like. We'll start here terrain. They want more short grass, less long grass. That's really easy to fix. So we're just gonna come in here to terrain, painting, and we'll just get rid of some of the, the long grass, add in some short grass, just kind of go in a zigzag like that. And they'll get happier. Is there anything else they kind of like? They don't have any rock, so they also would like some rock. I might add some rock just for fun. But let's do the grass first. Okay, now they're pretty happy. Um, let's add a little bit of rock for them. Let's make this rock. I think that, that makes sense. I think that's a good look. I feel like if I were standing here, I would be more confident if this was rock instead of soil, you know? I'd be like, oh, I'm on a dirt pile versus like, ah, yes, a cliff. Um, the other thing I want to check really fast. Traversable area? Yes. Okay, so this filter shows me where they can walk. So you can see they can reverse down here and they can go in the little tunnel cave, which is perfect. So that's going to be their camera's still doing that thing. This is going to be where they can go and hide away from people. So they can hide back here, which is pretty cool. Okay. Come back to me, camera. Okay, so that's done. As you can see, they have more than enough space, which is great news. Um, what else do they need fixed? They have no enrichment items. We can definitely handle that. Go to habitat. Sort by species. Uh, giant panda. Enrichment items. So this is how we're going to encourage them to be down here by the guest. Uh, guest is the, their, their toys will be right here. There's some nice wind chimes. They apparently really like wind chimes. Um, rubbing pillar. That sounds exciting. We're going to add more than necessary because we're going to add other pandas. So there you go. Now there'll be plenty of things to play with. Cardboard boxes are great. And then we'll add food enrichment. This one we'll add here, right up by the edge. And the same for this. 
people will still be able to view them right up here. Look at that. So they're going to be much happier now. That will fill in. Now their welfare is up to 89%. So we'll go ahead and let the game run. Because uh, no one's going to get mad because I don't have animals in good welfare. Now, before I forget, let's put in feeding platform. Uh, we'll put the food here. That way they don't have to be right by the guests when they eat, but the guests can still see them. Uh, water pipe so they can drink water. So we'll put one back there. We'll put one. What happened? Why did this get filled in? I'm so confused. There we go. I don't know what happened there. I think when I put that down, it like changed the terrain underneath. Why is your welfare so low all of a sudden? What happened? I don't know why your welfare is suddenly so low. Oh, well, that might have something to do with it. The same thing happened over here. Okay. And you were trapped in a cave. Okay. That would also cause me to be upset. I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. I, uh, I realized I hadn't streamed on here in a while, and I wanted to hang out with you guys, but I just wasn't feeling a story, if that makes sense. Like, I wasn't feeling, uh, having to have emotions, <laughs> as bad as that sounds. So I was like, hey, I've been meaning to try streaming Planet Zoo. This is like my zen relaxing game. How are you today? How was your Saturday? So they are from Asia, and they like temperate biomes. So we're, we selected Asia and temperate. So this will show me Asia temperate plants. Uh, we'll get them some plants because that seems to be part of what is making them unhappy. Obviously, pandas love bamboo. So we'll put in some bamboo. That'll, that'll be exciting. I just realized that I put that enrichment item there for people to see, and then I put the trees in front of it. So that's how smart I am. That's okay. Uh, Let's add... I like the dead trees. I think they add character, personally. Um, I like the Himalayan birch as well. I think they're pretty. Just kind of create some mystery around these cave openings. I think that's kind of neat. And you can watch here. Um, we want to get those percentages into the green. Japanese maple Japanese maples are pretty. Let's do that. Let's do some of these. Make a nice little maple forest up here. Get some size variations. See, and that's making them very happy. Um, cherry blossom trees are also very pretty. So we'll just have, like, a very colorful forest over here. Okay, my, uh, my stats are in the green, which is awesome. We can add a little bit more on top of that. Good, still freaking about- yes! Mando was good. There's much- I- it, I feel like it left me with so many questions that I would love some answers to. But those will come in time. I can't believe we only have two episodes left of the season. And part of me is like, so excited because I really want to know where the story goes. And so like, part of me kind of wants the end and then part of me is like, yeah, but then we won't have more to like, forever. Because I feel like they would normally be getting ready to film soon. I don't know if they will be. Yeah, that looks that looks pretty okay. I mean, it also looks like I just dropped trees wherever I felt like it without thinking about it very hard, which is totally not what happened at all. Um, let's let's put down some bushes. Bushes are nice. Bushes are pretty. People like those. <laughs> Nothing like, you know, plants along the ground. 
don't think they add. I mean, this is obviously costing money, but we're doing okay money-wise still. We still have another 20,000. So this just adds a little bit of character. Some bushes here. Do, 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 do. Just kind of makes this look a little bit nicer. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Okay. We'll leave that alone for now. I have the game paused. I don't need to have that paused. Um, I paused it because they're welfare tanks. Oh, they're, that's why they're welfare tanks. So it says here the animal is too hot. It's 108 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so we built this in a tropical climate. Our zoo exists in a tropical climate. Pandas are from temperate climates. So they like... It to be between 36 and 84 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's definitely warm for them. That must be what happened. So what we'll do is we'll go here into habitats. Actually, we're going to do this before I forget. We're going to move this thing to some place where people can see it. There, fine. Um, hopefully that didn't screw with... Ah, sorry. The camera's wacky that screw with the traversable area? It did not. Not at all. And look, the pandas can climb those trees. That's neat. So anything with green on them, the little green lines like that, means that they're climbable. So that's cool. Um, now what we're going to do is go to habitat. We're going to go to heaters and coolers. And we're going to add a cooler, because it's probably never going to get too cold here in its own right. And we'll drop the cooler down. So then we gotta click on it. So the cooler will automatically make it really cool. No power. <sighs> oh, yep. The game is correct. There is no power. I didn't think they could get in the exhibit if there was no power. Okay. We're gonna go here and we're gonna. I plan to build a solar panel here anyway. Um, so I don't need to power the whole exhibit. You see how it's um, only like partially covering it. As long as the any part of the fence touches power, the whole exhibit will have power. So I only needed to do it that much. Now what I was saying, we click on this cooler, it's going to go to 32 degrees, which is not really what they want. They want 36 to 84. So we're going to drag this up and we'll make it 55. I think 55 is a nice split the difference. And then what I'm going to do is hit duplicate, and then it will duplicate this cooler with the same settings. Now, for whatever reason with this game, what I've learned is if I hit duplicate on the first one, the second one will have the same temperature settings. So say you click on this now and it'll say 55. But for some reason, the second time you duplicate it, it won't. So like this one will say 55, but then this one will say 32. And I don't know why, but if we click on it, 55, this one, 32. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't understand it. But that's just in case you're wondering why I'm doing this seemingly the long way. That's why. Go ahead and start playing the game. So the temperatures start changing. This is a temperature map. So anything in the red is really, really warm, obviously. And as you see it turning orange, that's because my coolers are working. So that's pretty cool. Um, we don't necessarily need to fill the whole exhibit that way. Uh, I probably will, but if you needed to save on money and power costs, because each one of these will cost money, um, you you don't have to as long as because sometimes this map will probably be the right temperature. Um, you can just do it in some of the spaces. And then the pandas can just go into that space when the outside temperature isn't correct. But we have enough money right now that I'm going to just do the whole exhibit. There we go. And as you can see, people are coming into the zoo. Uh, so now I'm going to pause it again. People were really excited to hear we had pandas. Let's hop into animal trading real quick and see if we have new pandas to choose from. 
This one is expensive and not even really great stats for how much it's costing. Yeah, this panda breeding program is going to be a problem. Uh, we'll pass on that for now. Let's finish building stuff over here. So the number one way you make money in this game is through donations. So we're going to put down some donation bins. So when people are like, man, I really love these pandas. I wish we could give them money. We now have donation bins. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is come here. This is something I've gotten better about doing the right way lately. Walls, columns, uh, arctic wood? No, I don't want arctic. I want... I mean, it's not like it matters. No one here is going to be like, oh, you're going to use all the crap too. No one's going to care. I think it looks cool, so maybe we will just... Uh, we're going to set this here, because reasons. Go with me on this. So one, uh, set two, set three. The next thing we're going to do is type into search education board. Sweet. Um, what one do I like? That's, that's kind of fancy. Um, now, can I get this to stand up? I don't think I can. Okay, so what we're going to do is put one down. This is... The building in this game, I feel like, is needlessly difficult. So we're going to stand this up. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can be vertical. I believe in you. I believe in your ability to be vertical. I believe you can be as vertical as you want to be in this life. Come on. There we go. And then we're going to move it. No! I had it where I wanted it. Darn game. <sighs> I said, you can be as vertical as you want to be in this life. I don't know why it does this. I don't know why anybody playing the game is like, I want this flat on the ground. Like, I feel like not one player ever said that. But, okay. And then we're gonna put it up like this. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that fancy thing. Right now you're like, Jess, this isn't exciting. And I'm like, just wait. It will be. What? Frickin'. Why did you undo all of it when I hit undo? I just meant the one. This is going to be worth it. I promise. This is why I don't build anything myself in this game. <laughs> Use angle snap. I know. Silly putty. You're here. I have something cool to show you in a second. Um, angle snap. Uh, I use angle snap sometimes, but then it's it snaps to the wrong angle, and I just I get really frustrated. Okay, I want it here. There we go. We're gonna leave it at that. Um, and then we're gonna go into facilities, as I call it, but it's actually facilities. And then we're gonna turn on these, and it should snap in there if you ask it nicely. Yes. Look at that. Look at that. And then we're going to click on it, and we're going to click Panda. And it's going to be upside down. I hate this. I hate everything about this. Why is it? Why? Why? Why would I want that? Okay. Um, exactly. I've always used the pre-made ones, and I have not actually built my own pre-made ones yet. But I was playing around with them in the... I was playing the new scenarios for the Arctic Pack. And uh, and I was like, okay, maybe I can do this. Okay. And then we're going to do multi-selection. Select all three items. And then we're going to duplicate. And we're going to put... Oh, you know, I'm dumb. Because I put that stand there. And I didn't need to put the stands there. Because I was going to... No one... No one question it. I put those there to, to mark it. Not because I would silly. That was on purpose. You guys should trust me more. Okay, it's fine. Uh, and then drop that there. Look at that! Look at that! Look at that fancy thing I did. Silly Putty, I was going to show you a thing. We are playing in the Silly Putty Zoo! I named it for you because you bought for the Arctic pack that you sent me. 
Even though this isn't in the Arctic, but we are now streaming in the Silly Putty Zoo. Just for you. Hey, that's fine, Caleb. I support all lunch making endeavors all the time. I'm very pro lunch making endeavors. It's you! We are in the Silly Putty Zoo. Maybe you'll get to visit the Silly Putty Zoo. I'll keep an eye out for you. No, thank you. I appreciate you. So that's why I did it. Here's a person. So when you play franchise zoos, people who are also playing can visit your zoo. You can't talk to them, which is annoying. I wish you could. But you can, like, say hi, and then you get money for talking to them. Like all good friendships, you get money for, for talking to them. Okay. So, there we go. Now we have this little cool... Well, again, I'm going to make this look a little bit better, but I just want to get, like, the zoo established first. You know? Um, okay, let's go back to habitat. There's a few things I haven't added yet that I want to. Pandas are probably medium bedding. Can they get by on small? They can get by on small bedding. Put some bedding down. Look at them using that thing I built them. I'm so proud of it. Built them a secret tunnel through the mountain. I'm just really digging this. I like this design. This is cool. So people can stand here and see the pandas unobstructed. And the pandas can go hide in their cave, and that's going to be their shelter. So, like, all animals need hard shelter. Uh, well, actually, I don't think all of them do. I don't think bison do. But a lot of animals will need shelter. And you can do that this way. Secret tunnel. Look at, that, look at them throwing me money. How exciting is that? I'm still losing a lot of money, though. So, let's go back to the zoo page. Am I charging for admit entrance right now? $3 is fair. There's only pandas here. Um, let's... So this is where we're going to build a centerpiece, eventually. Whatever that looks like. But here and here and here is where we're going to put in, like, welcome to the zoo stuff. I don't know what my keys are doing. There we go. <sighs> do I want... Which direction do I want to angle my shots? Do I want to angle them in or out? I think I want to angle them out. Okay, so let's go to... Facilities, information booth. We'll build an information booth here, and then some merchandise. Just watch that episode of Avatar. It's a good one. It's a classic. Just a momento. Okay. Um, I wish there were more merchandise stalls, but there are not. Uh, let's build smoothies. Who doesn't want to get a smoothie from the zoo? I know I do. This is gonna not line up well. Work groups also bother me a lot. This is all stuff that I don't necessarily need to worry about right now, but we're gonna worry about right now. Bathrooms. Okay, now we'll head over here. And we're gonna build... What did I build over here? It was a memento, right? That's why I sang that song. Yep. So we'll come over here. We're gonna build moody balloons. These are not voices I'm making up. These are in the game. Hats, fantastic. And a food stall. Uh, pizza pen. Pizza pen's exciting. And then... What is another good... We'll leave that there. I'll decide what's good for it later. Um, if we go into construction and look at shell. I've built a couple of shells. Is there anything I want here? What is this? Eh, that doesn't really work for the tropical vibe. Let's build a new shell for our shops. You can see how bad I am at building stuff. Um, what's, what's, ice definitely screams tropical to me. Ah, we'll use the wood. I like the log wood stuff. This is, this is tropical. Nothing says tropical like made out of the trees. Um, there we go. Look at, look at that. That 
doesn't line up perfectly. Let's move this. There we go. Speaking of Avatar, can't wait until the Netflix remakes comes. Yes! I am also anxious because the original creative left the project. But we will see what happens. Uh, I'm anxious enough that I'm not like for sure, for sure it's going to be great, but I am excited enough that I am definitely willing to give it a go anyway. Eh, thatch roof? Thatch roof is an option. I mean, it's an option. I don't know if I like it, but it's an option. Um, this is what you all came here for, definitely. That, I like that. And then, can you tell I'm self-conscious about this game? Because I'm making fun of myself as I play it. Let's see. Wood and sandstone and metal. I mean, this is just ugly. We're not going to do this. Okay. Um, I just want something that looks different from the wood, but we might just go with more wood. We just might, we just might stick to the plan. It will, I mean, I, gosh, I hope there's nothing as bad as the M. Night movie ever again. And, like, I'm usually pretty like everything has something redeeming in it type of person and no um eh, it's not bad i keep trying to challenge myself like get better at this game jess you, you can you're better at it than you think and then i tried to build something and i'm like and then i wasn't better at it than i thought okay what is this I don't really want the brick on there. Is there something else wooden? It's very clearly African. Um, it's a frickin'. You know, the thing is, is like, I get that it's like Arctic, but the Arctic stuff actually just looks really good everywhere. Like, I can't lie. Um, that, I don't know, that still looks very frickin'. Um, what's, no, I want, I want something like this. This is why, oh, actually, that doesn't look bad, now that I'm seeing it. The only thing I like about that movie is the moon lady Sokka falls in love with. Yes, that's fair. I just, that movie had so many strange things, like, when they trapped the Earth Nation, in a space filled with earth where they could very easily just get out because they're the earth they are the earth like i don't know they're just they're just things that movie was just interesting so many just interesting things that's not bad i just don't want that do this i mean stone on wood doesn't make no sense um, oh, this is an, oh, there we, that, yes. I like that. So it's still wood behind, but it's glass. Look at, look at that. Look at, look at, look at that. Let's do that same effect. Um, let's do that same effect around the sides. This isn't, this isn't horrendous, you know? I mean, it's, I mean, it's not great. Let, I mean, we'll be honest. This is... It's not great, but it's, it's, I mean, like, I don't completely hate it with every fiber of my being. No, that's not what I'm looking for. They have one, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, it's not, it's not bad is what I'm getting at. Um, so we'll have this and we'll move it. Onto one of our shops. You know, that'll be pretty exciting. And then we'll click on it and then we'll duplicate it and put it on the next one. Look at that. We'll click on it and we'll duplicate it. And I'm running out of money, so that's exciting. Hopefully I can afford this. This is this is all a mistake. This is not what I should be spending my money on. It's okay. If it makes us feel better, that's all that matters. 
We'll start making money once these shops open. Um, but we'll probably not make the bathrooms look pretty yet. The bathrooms will have to wait. I refuse to watch it and I love it too much. I watched it finally. I think I was just like so morbidly curious. And then I was like, I don't know what happened. So these are all the things I still need to build. Which are all things you should have in your zoo. But I don't need that. I'm aware that I'm low on cash in the game. I have $500. Are you happy now? Look at the happy pandas. We can, um... Nutrition. So, I already have, like, a lot of these enrichment items and stuff because we're playing franchises. So, I have made panda exhibits in my other franchises. Therefore, I've already done this research, and the research carries over from Zoo Um... Usually, you would not get this from the start. So, that nutrition being 71 will change the next time they have a meal. The last drink should have been clean because you don't have water here. You have um, fountains. So it should be fine. But they're, they're pretty happy. They're pretty happy. The only thing that you should be unhappy about... No, there's even enough pandas for you to be happy. So, like, that's all great. Let's keep an eye on... I still want to get at least two more. I'm aware I have no security guards to deal with crime. I also have no crime. It's gonna be okay, game. Okay, that is way too much for a panda. This, that is way too much for a panda with those stats. Um, I'm willing to spring for nine years. You're a little bit older than my other pandas, but that's okay. You're not that expensive. Your fertility isn't that high either, which I'm not digging, but again, you're not that expensive. For a panda. Pandas are by nature expensive. Let's go giant pandas. Look at that creative name that I came up with for this exhibit. People should be pretty happy. Look at them throwing me money. What do you got to sell me? Zoo ticket price is great. That's nice. Okay. So now comes the fun of just kind of waiting a little bit, yeah? I guess we could think about, like, what kind of centerpiece do we want here? What screams welcome to the zoo that we could build? What is like, hey, you're here, I'm here, we're all here at the zoo. Set that down into the ground a little bit. This is not gonna work. Nope, it's not gonna work at all. Okay. Wait, I can do this? Nope, because I can still only go on the... Eh. It's frustrating. Okay. Um... Hmm. What if we just didn't go all the way to the edge? I might be able to salvage this. Yeah, okay, we're gonna go with it. I like it. And by like it, I mean I don't completely hate it with every fiber of my being. Um, first try. Don't know how I pulled that off, but okay. Look at that. Look at, look at, look at that. Nope, don't look at that. Don't look at it even a little bit. Look at that! Look, look at look at that. That is like I tried really hard and knew what I was doing. That's just that's exciting. Okay. We have built brick. We are we have successfully built brick. Okay. What do I wanna like do like would it look cool if I did segments? If I like segmented it? Or would it look really stupid? Um, like, honestly, no one's gonna even be able to tell, so I don't know why I did that. Um, okay. So these are the pre-made centerpieces. 
a fountain. Fountains are neat. Put a fountain in there. So like fountain. Um, you know. And then uh, and like a little, a little nubbin. And then you go into we're in construction, right? So we go into special effects, water. Mm, no. Uh, I did that because it's not gonna help me. That's that's too intense. That's not right either. Um. Hmm. This must not be how you make fountains. I thought it was, though. Oh, there we go! That looks like a fountain! Look at that. Look at that looking like a fountain. Look how that looks like a fountain. Uh, silly Putty, have you heard about the uh, uh, Aquatics DLC that's coming out? Or I should say, really, anybody who maybe plays this game. I just know so everybody does. That is too intense. This is clearly not how you make a fountain. Okay, whatever. Uh, no, I want the fountain jet. I don't know what you're doing. Oh, I see. You're trying to align. Right. Yes. So in like the on the eighth, which is however many days from now, I don't actually know, but a couple. They're doing uh, aquatics. It's gonna have like penguins and crud in it. I'm pretty excited. I know for sure penguins because penguins were in the trailer, um, but I don't know. I haven't looked into it too in depth. What I want to know, because like I now have the Arctic pack and I have the deluxe upgrade, but I still don't have the, the South American one or the um, high amounts of litter. Well, that's my fault because I haven't put in waste bins because I've been building a really ugly fountain. Uh, I don't have the Australia one or the South American one. And what I want to know is can I get the aquatics one without having bought the other ones. You know what I mean? Like, is it a, you have to get one DLC to get the next DLC situation? Or is it a, um, uh, you can just get any, any DLC and it's fine. I don't actually know. These are India bins, but like they also look kind of rainforesty. So we're just gonna pretend that it doesn't say India bins and pretend that they are Rainforesty bins. We'll put them here. So the high amounts of litter is because I didn't put in any waste bins after I built all of this. Okay, you don't have the Australian one, but you do have the South American. One. I think I think Australia came out after the South American one. Though. I don't know. I can't imagine, like, I feel like if you had to get them in sequential order, they'd tell you. But, like, with Civ, I guess those are expansions and not DLC. But, like, you have to buy the big one. Like, you have to buy them in sequential order. You can just buy them separately. Okay. Because I will probably spring for the Aquatics one immediately. Because I am so excited for that. Put in some benches. Not sure if I'll ever actually put anything there. I might just make that, like, a nice little sitting area. Down some benches for some people to sit. Um, I don't think I actually need to hire another caretaker at this point, even though I have money too, so maybe I will just hire another caretaker. Because it won't hurt anything. I might put in some. I don't like exhibits, but that's really not a bad place for them. So maybe I'll do that. 
See, look at this. look at this. We're doing pretty good on money too. Like, I learned that. I guess I think the underpriced. Interesting. I only have one animal here. You only get new animals and blueprints. No campaign. Oh, really? No campaign missions with South America and Australia? That's too bad. Kanye. Kanye procrastinates. What a name. Welcome. Good to see you here. Happy you dropped by. We're just playing a little Planet Zoo, discussing things. How are you today? As you can see, we're still getting the zoo kind of underway. But yeah, I learned the hard way that um, you are better off putting in like a really rare, expensive animal from the start. Okay, I'll get a security guy just so it stops screaming at me about the security guy. Uh, another thing you can do when you play is you can send your people for training, which will make them more effective, which is cool. Oh, my vendors, right. So I actually have vendors now. Um, I like to keep at least one extra vendor around, even though they're expensive, but that way, like, there's an extra person. Let's go over here to my staff room and give them a perk. I like, personally, I like staff healthcare. Yeah, I know, I have a lot of staff, and so that's why it's yelling at me. I've always wanted Planet Zoo, but it's way too expensive in your parents' opinion. It is kind of expensive. Um, I got it on a pretty good sale. I don't know... I think it's only on computer. I don't know if it's a console game. But if you're looking at it on computer, Steam... Um, if you buy games through Steam, should be having a winter sale. They just had their autumn one, so the winter sale might not be till late December or January. But, like, um, it goes down a little bit then. But you get a lot for it. But I, I understand the, the concern. I'm too cheap. I haven't bought all the, <laughs> the DLCs for that reason. But it's nice. We got some pandas going here. I used to play a game called Zoo Tycoon when I was, like, in high school. And I loved it so much. <gasps> my pandas ex My pandas preggers! My I have a preggers panda. Look at it. I'm so excited. I have pregnant pandas. So I have three pandas right now. I want more. Yes, I know, game. I will work on getting you more space. I promise. Now we're getting some decent pandas. See, again, this is like two years older than I really want them to be. I have four pandas now. This will be my fifth panda. We'll have plenty of pandas. We'll all be happy. I gotta put in a new staff room. Hmm. Panda babies. Yes! Baby pandas are exciting. We'll continue to work on this as we have time, but I should keep working on the zoo, too. A.A. Dang. <laughs> yeah, the... It likes to fill it in. Can't find... Fine, fine, fine. I get it. I get it. I understand. You need more staff space. I didn't build you enough staff facilities. You are upset with me. I understand. You do not need to scream at me. Do I have enough room to, like, slide one in here? Real sly-like? Heck yeah, I do. Okay, that's what we're gonna do then. Perfect. Look at that. Look, now I have a staff room. So you can put perks in your staff room. They will charge you more, like it costs a little bit more money. I like staff healthcare. They'll be more resilient against being overworked. So they can just work longer, but all of these are pretty good. Um, happiness faster, just, you can have happier people. I tend to pay my people well enough that I don't have to worry about that. Um, they get energy faster. I would prefer, like, they just, don't get tired as often. This is still kind of far away, but also not too bad. You know, this fountain isn't as ugly as I thought it was. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's put in like other things for people to look at. Love Zoo Tycoon. I remember when they had the space option. 
where you could have oh I never got that far I had um I had the dinosaur in the aquatics pack but I never had anything other than that that's cool the inspectors in my zoo there's only one thing for them to inspect yeah, I didn't know they had that either, and I was a big Zoo Tycoon fan, but I also was not on the internet at the time, so probably never heard about it. Do I, why do I? Oh, I just don't have a lot of money, that's why. I hate how it auto-builds these pads. I really, really do. Um, okay, we're gonna put... I don't usually like to use these because I feel like they become more trouble than they're worth, but, you know, that's okay. I'm gonna take that path out, and that path out, and that path out, because I don't want them there. I was gonna put shops here, but honestly, this is not a bad place for these. But these always become a headache, and I always am like, I'm gonna try it this time, and then I regret it. Alright, what kind of creepy crawlies do we want? What kind of creepy crawlies do we want? I do like getting the iguanas. The beetles, like are so hard to keep up because they just breed and they breed so fast that they like overbreed and it just it becomes a problem. We'll get two of these. Send a zoom. Put them in here. Scorpions? Alright, we'll do scorpions in the other one. Just for you. Um, exhibit trading. Where did the scorpions go? I'm down for scorpions. We have the giant forest scorpion or the giant desert scorpion. Do you have a preference in scorpion type? I, I always end up regretting having exhibits. The, the iguanas or like the goliath frogs aren't as bad because they don't mass breed. I do like getting exhibits in scenarios, because in scenarios you can sell animals for conservation credits, which helps a lot in scenario. But, um, um, I always end up regretting it in this, but we're going to do it anyway. Desert scorpion? Desert scorpion it is. Okay, so this needs to be 80s, and this needs to be in the 50s, and then they will be happier. And then we will get some desert scorpions. Where'd they go? Right now they only have male diet, uh, giant desert scorpions, so I will get one. And then we'll come back in a second and see if we can get a lady. So we can have two. In fact, what we'll do is we'll go here and select... Giant desert hairy scorpion. There we go. We'll keep an eye out on a sexy lady scorpion. Um, what do you need, climate wise? Okay, temperature, you're happy, but you need way less humidity. So we'll turn this down to like 20. Animal, yeah, I'm aware, game. I appreciate it, but I'm working on it. Okay, now the other thing we can do is I've probably had some of these guys. Yes, so we have research. So we'll do. Put in a nice tree trunk, put in like a nice log, a little basking lamp, there we go, and they can bask there, and get them like, there we go, and then they can sit on that rock, there we go. Now these guys are going to be pretty darn happy. We'll call this the green iguanas, there we go. And we'll come over here to our scorpion. Oh, I have not apparently had giant hairy scorpions in my zoos before. So there you go. This is good. Uh, we'll hop over here to facilities and add... I probably don't have a whole lot in the way of money, but we're going to do it anyway. Uh, research center. Can I afford one that already looks kind of nice? I can. So we'll drop this here. And then what that means is we go in here to vet research and put my vet in here. And uh, as my vet has free time, they will research things for the desert scorpion. Look at that. Um, let's check and see if we got a lady scorpion in yet. 
does not look like it. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is put down some donation boxes. I wish real zoos would make big exhibits for reptiles, bugs, etc. I remember going to a zoo where snakes, scorpions, and were all in a super small. Yeah. And that's usually how it goes. Um, I got to go to... Wow, my voice cracked like nothing else there. I got to go to the Baltimore National Aquarium, Baltimore, Maryland, uh, which is beautiful, by the way. When I was in... I was probably late middle school, early high school. I can't remember when I went. But they have a, a place. The top of their aquarium is a giant greenhouse. And you go in, and it's an atrium that looks like the rainforest. And there's birds and stuff. And there's, like, frogs, like South American dart frogs that hop around the exhibit. And so you have to be careful where you walk because it's frogs. But, like, you just get to hang out with frogs and stuff. It's really cool. Uh, so if you are ever in that area looking for something neat to do, highly, highly recommend the Baltimore National Aquarium. That was one of the coolest places I ever went. We're going to put these in, and these will be uh, basically places where people can read about the, uh, the animals within. I do appreciate how even though there are these boxes, you can still see the animals in there, which are really cool. Uh, I agree. I've seen some that have one meter. Yeah. Yeah, it's too bad. Some places are real small. I mean, some creatures are just small and they are fine in there, but it feels like a lot of times reptile areas are an afterthought. I have a little reptile behind me. Um, I don't know if you'll actually be able to see it on here, but there, there you can see my tank. I have a crested gecko, little baby crested gecko who, he's not a baby, but he's my baby. Uh, I've had him a couple of years now. I love him very much. I used to have dart frogs. I'm a big reptile amphibian person. I love me the cold-blooded creatures. Let's, this. Let's expand that range a little bit. Oh, not that much. Because it will interfere with this one. Uh, okay, what we're going to do is click on this one and move it to there. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. So people are going to be pretty happy. Let's check and see if there's... No, oh, still doesn't have the one scorpion. We'll get... We'll get a lady scorpion here eventually. What did we get? I feel like I earned something. I don't know what it was. Okay. So there's my mechanic going to repair my uh, solar panel. How are we doing? How are, are we happy here? Are our pandas still happy? The door reptiles as well. They're almost all the way up on your favorite list, right behind the wolf. Ooh. Well, I think that means we should build wolves next. I think that's what that means. What if we built ourselves a nice wolf exhibit? How do I want to build this wolf exhibit? What do I want it to look like? Hmm. Also, I need to finish making this pretty at some point, but we can do that later. Um, what do we want? Nice little, I feel like I like to have caves for wolves, and I like to... Wolves don't need water, but they really like using it if you give it to them. So, what do I want to do? I don't really want people paths over here, so we'll put the exhibit along this wall. Any mammal that can be fat or fluffy, I like it's primitive. Hey, animals are great. That is for sure. That is, that is definitely for sure. What do we want to do with these wolves? Um, let's start here. Uh, let's do timber wolves. 
I do like the arctic wools, but I just don't want to build something all snowy yet. Actually, there's no difference because it's going to be too warm here for the timber wool to eat anyway. So we could do the arctic wool. Do you ever do you like do you like timber wools or do you like uh, where are they? They're at the top. Arctic wolves. The, the Arctic wolves are probably floofier. Either way, we're gonna build this kind of the same. Um, four foot. Okay, yeah, they don't need that much of a ditch. I would. How do I want to do this? I'm gonna build a path in. I think. I think we will. Yes, that's what I want to do. So we're going to do, sorry, I'm trying to think. Uh, should be fine. Here, because I want to keep room for more facilities. So we're going to build a lower area here. Where people can kind of look down and see the wolves, kind of like what we did with the pants. I just really like three-dimensional exhibit spaces. Personal opinion, timber wolves are prettier and they need less because arctic wolves would need their habitat too. That's true. All right, timber wolves. Timber wolves it is. Them timber boys. Let's see here. So what we're gonna do is build an area where people can kind of walk by and look at the wolves here. This is also, we're also going to put in a, uh, the day-night cycles in this game are really cool until you're trying to build. And then you're like, okay game, I appreciate you. But also, why? What's that? This is going to be kind of like a down area where people can kind of look. It should be enough. Let's just check really quick. Barriers. So that's 6.5 feet. That's definitely about 6.5 feet. And then if we go down to the timbers. Timber wolf. They need whatever 1.5 meters is. Um, but this is 4 meters because I picked 4 meters. So it should be fine. Okay, so this is like a little lower area, which is cool. And then we're going to go into terrain. And we're gonna create a slope. And then we'll do like a regular, like walls and stuff, as one does. Um, the other thing I wanna do here, is that cool? Uh, it doesn't need it to be as deep. You can do it like that deep. We're going to build a little pond so people can watch the wolves swim. I think that's going to be really cool. Look at that. Wolves don't necessarily need water, so we don't have to put a ton in, but it's just going to look really cool. Um, what we're going to do then before I forget is we're going to add a water treatment center. Like there. So that will clean that area up. Okay, so we got that going for us. Um, I'm gonna not connect it to everything, but we're gonna put in a path just so I can kind of see how I want this to go. So they're gonna walk by, they're gonna get to see the puppers swim, which is gonna be cool. Plans to install this live stream. Oh, please join. Uh, this is actually my first time streaming the game. It's not my first time playing the game. First time streaming the game. I play a lot of um, random stuff. I'm primarily, not on this channel, but I'm primarily a Star Wars YouTuber on youtube.com slash the Star Wars Refuge. I do a lot of reviews and stuff. Um, and then on here is where I stream my non-Star Wars games and have a good time with people. Uh, I played, the last game I was streaming is a game called Dishonored, which is really fun. 
Um, and I'm going to get back to at some point. Okay, we're gonna basically make this loop, but I just really felt like giving this a shot. If people like these streams, this is a game I can stream anytime, because I really like this game. Let's go here, line the grid. We're just gonna, it's just not super important at the moment. I don't know why that's a thing. What on earth? The pathing system in this game is so freaking weird. Oh, it's probably because the ground isn't level. There we go. I don't, I don't understand. Oh, wait, this is a total divergent. That is just annoying me. There we go. Maybe I fixed it. Only reason, like, Star Wars is where baby- Baby Yoda is my son. Have you watched the new season? Look, I have the ten in Funko. I'm very proud of him. Baby Yoda is, like, the best thing ever. Regular Yoda. Old Man Yoda is my favorite Star Wars character of all time. So when Baby Yoda came on the scene, I was pretty excited. This is... why? 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 Okay. Whatever. Um, do select grid. Can I... Why? <laughs> I really love this game until I don't. And then I'm like... <laughs> What are you doing? Okay, let's let's see what I can do about this. Not a bit of the new season, not all of it. It's been good. I won't say anything if you haven't seen all of it, but it's been good. But I'm like I'm like a super freak though. I'll show you here too. When I say super freak, like there's a, those are all my Star Wars books. Like I got a lot of them. But there you go. Um, yeah, I recently streamed Life is Strange. I really want to stream Bioshock soon because it's like my favorite game ever. Okay, we're gonna align to grid. Why? Why? I mean. Like, why? <laughs> this makes no sense. Um, I've flattened it. Like, I don't, I don't understand. I don't even care. I don't even care anymore. Let's see if I do that. You know what? Whatever. Whatever game. There's just gonna be a block there. And I'm gonna pretend it doesn't exist. And it's gonna be fine. I don't- I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay, whatever. We're just gonna- we're just gonna pretend we don't see it and it'll be fine. Um... So that's going to be a little tight, but it'll work. Okay. So now we're going to go into barriers. We can use the wood here, which I really like. Um, we don't necessarily need it here, because they won't be able to get out because of the cliff. But I actually want to block it off. Intentionally. Because I don't want people to be able to see the exhibit from that side. That is, the pathing is the one true complaint I have about this game. It's a really, really great game, except for the pathing. I think once you get a thousand people in your zoo, people will just ignore it. You're probably right, to be completely honest. It's, it's one of those, like, OCD things, like, I'll know it's there in my heart of hearts, but I'll just pretend it's not. Um, let's just make a nice little, little space. I always end up wishing these were bigger than I made them. Um, 
Yeah, that's fine. We'll go in here and make this a pinch longer. Yep. And this is what I'm looking for. So it'll be a little snug, but the wolves can definitely go through there. Um, turn off angle snap. What do we got? I'm glad you stumbled across this. Sometimes live streams aren't as easily found. Um, especially because there's a lot of big YouTubers who've, like, made their way on YouTube through Planet Zoo. So I would not think my stream would necessarily come up. Hey, Zog! Welcome! The passes on the building- yeah. And, like, I think it's- it's- it's annoying because I feel like it should. Like, it almost makes sense, and then it's like, nope. How are you doing today, Zog? I hope you're doing well. We're just here. We're making a Timberwolf exhibit right now. Which is pretty cool. So we're gonna do this, and then this, but we're just gonna make it short and stubby. And then here we just won't have fence. So we'll go to null and do that here. Perfect, perfect. And then I can put uh, my entrance here. And that way the zoo staff can just like come in and out, which would be really cool. Nature, go to rocks, take Asia off. And then if we do this, like that. The wolves won't be able to get out. Should be yes. There we go. And then they definitely can't get out here, but I just will feel better if I do this. There we go. Um What do I think? I'm excited about it. I've only watched the trailer. I haven't really looked into it whole lot. I know some of, like, the big Planet Zoo fandom peeps have been doing some videos on it. I'm really excited. Um, I only have two DLC packs. I have Arctic and the Deluxe. Um, I haven't gotten South America or uh, Australia yet. But I'm probably going to spring for the Aquatics one, like, right away. I'm really excited about that. So we're going to turn this into Windows. It took me an embarrassingly long time to realize that I could put windows in the fences instead of having to use the window fence, like the specific glass walls. And I was like, I was having the hardest time and I'm like, it should not be this difficult. And then I realized it shouldn't be this difficult. I'm just silly. Um, so we have this. How much space is in here right now? Like how, how big is it? Yeah, it's pretty good size. So I think what I'm going to do over here is we're going to make this and go to nature. I was going to do this with ground instead of with these rocks, but I think we're going to do it with these rocks instead. This should be tall enough. If it's not, I'll fix it. But we're going to put these rocks down and these rocks will become hard shelter. And then the wolves can stay here. And I'll have like a nice little wolf cave. That would be cool. I don't like to use the shelter buildings if I can get away with it. I prefer to do stuff like this. Uh, I think you should make a mini forest with the grass, just a suggestion. Make a mini forest with the grass. So like put in long grass? You mean? Or, oh, you mean like make a mini forest and also have grass. Yes, we can definitely put in tons of trees. The wolves like trees. And they'll be able to go here, so people will be able to view them really well. Let's check. Hey, girl scorpion. Look at that. I mean, breeding scorpions like it was no one's business here in a minute. Okay, we set all filters. And let's go to animal trading. We set all. Actually, I shouldn't have done that. How many pandas do I have? Do I want more pandas? That is a- Whoa, hello research! Surprised me. Okay, animal. How many pandas do I have? One, two, three. I only have three pandas. Okay. 
I want to get wolves, but I also want to go back and look at the pandas really quick. So I might want to get one more. Um, actually, I should check and make sure my space is still good. Yes, trees. Scorpion baby. Yes, we're going to have so many scorpions. It's going to be great. Come on. Because the franchise mode has to connect to the internet. Sometimes it's really finicky. And you just end up clicking the same button ten times. Before it's like, oh, you meant that button? Yes. It's the button I meant. What do you guys think? Okay, that's not great stats, but she's not a lot of money. So we're going to adopt that one. And then I should be pretty happy with my pandas. Because that should be three or four breedable pandas. Hello, panda. How are you today? Are you happy with the amount of space you have? You are very happy with the amount of space you have. So we're in good shape. Guys, look! Baby panda! Baby panda! Phasing through another panda. Because physics doesn't matter in this game. Hello, Panda. Okay, so people think the ticket price is too low, and how dare I question them when they say that. I will turn it up. Okay. So proud of this Panda exhibit. It's so cool. You can click on the guest, so like I can click on the little boy here. And look! What a great view of that Panda! That's so cool. I've seen bigger and better zoos. Wow! Porter. He's a little punk. He's like, I've seen better zoos. Okay, Porter. Um, how are we with power? This whole area is powered. Okay. Let's go look at timber wolves, timber wolves, timber wolves. Unless there is like one... No, all those pandas are not pandas I want. Let's go look at timber wolves. Get some timber boys. Okay, what are we looking at? Um, okay. Let's see here. Is, oh, that's not bad. That's just... Oof, wow, the options I have are not great. Um... Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll just kind of roll with it, I guess. Stop you. Stop you. As you can see, I can get some for real money and some for conservation credits. Um, let's get four. So we got... Unless... Oh, you're a little bit better. We'll do the U. Come on, think about it. Okay, we have two boys, and now I need one more good girl. I'm not spending $6,000 or 6,000 conservation credits on another girl, though. Come on. Why won't you let me select? Hey, Cal! Why do I open the stream only here? Why are we talking about Minnesota basketball? I was talking about the Minnesota basketball team? I don't think I was. Or I've gone crazy, which is technically possible. I want to select all of you at once. Why will you not let me select all? I wish to select all. Okay, whatever. Move. I'll do this the long, annoying, hard way, I guess. How are you? You're up early, I think, or it's way later in the day than I thought it was. Oh, the Minnesota Timberwolves. Ha-ha! That's funny. I missed it. That's good. That's a good one. Look at this. Scorpions are getting happier. We should be able to hop over the scorpions now and add some things to their tank. Yes, we can. We can give them a large rock. Look at that. Oh, I should have named this exhibit as well. Um, desert. Hairy. Scorpions. There we go. Yeah, it's just, oh, it's just after 9am. Gotcha. We're putting timber wolves in the zoo. We are. We're going to have a whole team of wolves. What do we got here? Do we have a girl? Ugh. There is a lady, but she I'm not paying 6,000 conservation credits for her. 
Definitely not early compared to you. Not terribly late. That's fair. I'm glad you can join us. Yeah, I know. You're probably a little welfare. Who we got here? Let's visit some people. Let's say hello. Let's get some conservation credits. So these are other people who are playing the game right now, which is cool. That's gonna bother me forever. Okay. Um, so you guys are unhappy. Let's work with Wadsworth here to figure out what they want. They let too much long grass. They're like, I'm not in it for this long grass. They do like it a little bit cold. So let's, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll put in like a freezer and give them a little snow area too. I think that would be cool. Um, let's go to painting. What do you want more of? Rock. You definitely like the rock. So let's do that. There's already plenty of rock down here where I put in the water, but let's add some more. Actually, let's put rock in here, um, even though the soil is not what they wanted me to get rid of. But I think rock is cool for the little cave. And then we'll just put it all the way through here, and then we will do some soil. They just really don't like the long grass. They are not here for the long grass. They are very anti-long grass. So we'll do that. Actually, where's the sand? Fine sand. Let's put the sand down here by the water. It's like a little beach. There we go. Because they like a little bit of they like a little bit of sand. A little sand dune. There we go. Um you guys do like short grass. A little bit. Not that much, but a little bit. How is this still 41%? long grass. I feel like I have more than... Huh. Weird. So we'll just take that away, but they don't like that much grass. What they really like is snow, and we will do that in a moment. We will put in some snow. We'll drop a freezer back there and give them a little bit of snow. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Womp rats? Oh, long grass. <laughs> Dude, I would love a game like this, but Star Wars creatures. That would be so cool. Oh, that's more soil than they would be. Oh, this is also rock. This is just a different looking rock. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we're all pretty happy. Uh, hop into habitat here. Coolers. Now, they because they're, like, cold area places, that can get cold and it will be fine. I'm assuming, yes, this exhibit is powered, so it's fine. We'll let the game run so that it can actually get cold. Um, and then here, it won't lock in now because it's going to be too warm, but eventually it will get cold enough that this will stay as snow, which will be cool. So then they can have a little bit of snow. It just won't be their whole exhibit. Okay. Uh, next needs to be- are, is the- did the hard shelter work? The hard shelter did work. Fantastic news. Um, the next thing we're gonna do, since they're happy enough, is we're going to design, uh, like, the sitting areas and stuff for the people, so that they will start donating. Just because I, uh, we still need to work on getting that money, I guess, is what I'm saying. Put down some benches for people to rest. You always have to put in the waste bins because people cannot handle it. If they have to walk more than, like, four feet to a waste bin, they, like, freak out and panic and forget how to exist in the society. Right. The end of our Star Wars... Char oh, did I say characters? I meant, like, Star Wars animals. So like Banthas, Brontos, that sort of thing. That would be so cool. Why are you... This is the... Okay, well, whatever. Um, I want this to go up on here. I don't understand why Z, which is supposed to rotate along the ground is like you want it to be an upside down board and I'm like, oh I don't. Okay. And then 
right, we'll just stick this on the rock. That's fine. I don't care. Okay. Timber wolves. Timber wolves. Read all about your timber wolves, kids. They should do Star Wars expansions like Sims did. Yes! See, like, I don't play Sims, but also that Star Wars expansion looks really cool. But, like, if they did a Star Wars expansion on this, I'd freak out. But, of course, I mean, Sims got it because it's EA. This is, um, this is not EA. We're just gonna pretend that sign is straight. If anyone asks, say, you're standing crooked, the sign is straight. Um, this. Um, this. This. Give me your money. If you think you have money to give me. Cool. So that's gonna make the people pretty happy. Um, let's go back. We have not finished their exhibit by any stretch of the imagination. Let's go habitat. I'm gonna assume they want it cooler. What? Uh-oh. Did one of my wolves escape somehow? What happened? Where How? How did you escape? That makes no sense. Did you just phase through the fence? Okay, well, let's look at this. Reversible area. Is it telling me there's an escape point? For some reason, there's an escape point right there. And it makes no sense. Um, like, why is that the only thing that's an escape point? Okay. Well, what we'll do... <laughs> Time for a large rock. Most of the problems in this game can be solved with a large rock. Um, we'll pick the nice large rock and put it right there. Look! Now, for whatever reason that existed, it doesn't exist anymore. The wood is climbable, but wolves can't climb. So, like, that's why it doesn't make sense. Like, why was it only right there? Right, we're about to watch. Is he gonna get out? He was thinking about it. Why is your well- oh, because your temperature makes sense. Yeah, go over in the cool area, you'll be okay. I don't want to make the whole thing arctic temperatures, but we'll make it cooler here at least. Uh, you had a random question. What? I love random questions. What is your random question? I don't want to make this arctic temperature, so we'll put this at like 57 degrees. And we'll duplicate it and put it here, and then we'll duplicate it, and put it here, and we'll duplicate it, and put it, well, you know, they're gonna cool off in the water, so I think they'll be okay. And they're gonna cool off in their cave, so like, yeah, I'll drop one like right there. That should be fine. Random question is... Opinion on Skittles ads. I think they're gross. Like, they're definitely memorable, but, like, they weird me out. Like, eating Skittles off of somebody's face. Like, I'm just, I don't know how I feel about that. Hey, we're definitely gonna get this one. This is the same general reason our line of primates became the dominant group. We figured out rocks solved many problems. <laughs> You're not wrong. Oh, uh, that's funny. Timberwolves. Look, and there is he gonna go swimming? <gasps> go swimming. Go swimming. Look at the swimming puppy. Ray! Welcome! I'm playing Planet Zoo. How are you today? 
Man, this is a popular game. I should have been streaming this more. Okay, we have not finished this exhibit. Stop getting distracted, Jess. I'm getting so distracted. Okay. Large food tray. <clears throat> Drop some food trays. Uh, they should not need a water pipe because they can drink that water, but we'll put one over here just so they don't have to travel very far to drink water if they're in this part of the exhibit. Let's go ahead and turn this on. Timber wolves, timber wolves. Oh, you know what we're going to do real fast? Hold on. This is important. Save. Gotta work. Ah, working on the weekends in general sucks, but when like you don't normally have to work on the weekends, it's especially annoying. Making a puzzle while I get to live off of water. And chocolate. <laughs> I mean, water and chocolate isn't a bad diet. I mean, the chocolate part at least is good. Maybe not the water. Okay, you guys need enrichment. Actually, before we do enrichment, let's put down some bedding. You don't have to put bedding down for the creatures, technically, but like, I prefer to do it. So we have four wolves, and then they're gonna have puppies, hopefully. So we'll just put down more. Really need to eat healthier. Same! I tell myself that all the time, and then I never do anything about it. All right, enrichment. I mean, what's a dog without a dog ball? Come on. I never understand what this thing does, but I like it. So we're going to put it in. Um, toys. Let's put a sprinkler down in the water because that's pretty cool. It'll also cool the temperature there without me having to put in a, a thing. Um, scented prey sack because that just sounds scrumptious. Uh, and they don't need another thing, but I mean, again, let's put in a ball. May I take a proverbial soapbox on fantasy tropes? Yes. I love soapboxes. I enjoy them greatly. So go for it. I approve of it, whatever it is already. So, Alright, so that's all pretty good. Um, we can adjust food. So they can eat better. Okay, now what else are we missing? Are you guys pretty happy pack size? You're pretty happy pack size. Wise. Um, space and shelter wise, you're happy. So I think the only thing I haven't done is made this a forest. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. We need, uh, continent is North America. Biomes are temperate, which we already have selected. Tundra and Taiga. Let's, let's put in some trees. Nothing like some nice trees. With some animals, animals that can climb, you gotta be careful putting trees in by the edges. But wolves can't climb, so we're fine. Just put like a nice little line of trees along the back. Explode with babies and kill each other. <laughs> I think it, I've had some pretty good luck with timber wolves. Uh, oh, I love these mossy rocks. These things are like some of my favorite stuff to put in exhibits. I just think they look cool. Um, and then let's... I mean, why not put some lily pads in the pond? I mean, lily pads never hurt anybody, right? I can't think of a single time that I've ever heard of a lily pad hurting someone. Ooh, these are pretty. What are these? Holly trees. Holly, jolly holly trees. Look at that. Let's make some spaces. I don't want to put too many trees around because then people won't be able to see the wolves. But I like having a lot of trees at the same time. I feel like you'd have fun playing the Jurassic World. Yes! Uh, so it's the same developer, Frontier, made uh, Jurassic World Evolution and made uh, Planet Coaster. I've been told I would really like the Jurassic World ones. I might get those one of these days. 
Those are just too tall. I think it makes everything look a little misshapen. So as you can see, the, the fact that that's brown, uh, you might not be able to see it over the chat, but it, it basically means that the wolves are just as happy with no trees as they are with a lot of trees. So like, I don't have to worry about a specific tree amount for the wolves. This is pretty. This is really, really pretty. Okay, what else do we got? What else are we looking at here? Ooh, sage bushes. But I, I feel like it's, uh, I think that's the one where you like, can genetically engineer a new species and stuff. I think I'd like that part of the game. I went for this one over the Jurassic World one because I really wanted, um, it was just the nostalgia for Zoo Tycoon that led me here. As I think most players of this game. Tall trees hold. Yeah, you can get some freaking tall ones. Where is the, the yellow cedar's pretty tall. They just get like obnoxiously tall. Is this, is this, um, yes, look at the, look at the red cedar. Isn't that insane? I mean, look at that. That is just like, I don't even know. This is wild. Put down some more pretty flowers, because like, you know, why not? I feel like once we get this settled in, we'll spend some time making the rest of the zoo pretty. Because uh, it's looking kind of not. But, you know, two exhibits and two habitats is a pretty good start to it. And we can let people kind of come in and do their thing while we do this. I might do too now that I have all this stuff in. And I should have thought of this sooner, but I didn't. Uh, I like that. I like that. I think that looks pretty. And it, people can still see the zoo pretty well. Let's go into terrain. Let's go into sculpting. Let's go to roughen. We'll turn down the intensity. And. Oh, nope. Don't do that. Because I don't want you to put in snow. Um. And we'll just kind of like roughen the train a little bit like that. And it just makes, I think for something like, well, that's not necessary. For wolves, I think it just adds a little bit of texture to the exhibit. And wolves can still kind of traverse it, so it should be fine. I think that just looks cool. Look at that. Look at that, and the wolves are pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with this, I'm gonna be honest. I think this is cool. Yeah, big trees. Basically, we are the elves to the Neanderthal men. They could outbreed us, but a combination of our comparative intelligence and longer lifespans allows us to become a longer group. I've never thought about it that way, but that is interesting. What's up, wolves? What's up, puffers? Now, how much room do we have here? We still doing? We still have a lot of room. I might get another pair of wolves, to be honest with you. We have the space for it. I think we need more wolves. Her in. And where, where's an, where's another good boy? Where's another good boy? Ooh, you're a pretty good boy. We'll go with this one. Come on. There we go. Uh, maybe you could add a small pond with the snow, just in case they want to stay in the cold zone and drink. I can. I have this. I can move this in. The problem with putting in the pond... Let me check. The water treatment... Um, like this is the water treatment thing. So like this water, this thing keeps the water clean for them. It doesn't quite hit the cold area. So I could move it for it to cold area or I could move the cold area out more. But um, they can also drink from this water fountain. I got her head out. Thank you for dropping by, Ray. I appreciate it. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Look at, look at all these beautiful wolves. There's so many beautiful wolves. 
We should probably get a second zookeeper. Um, because I have two habitats now, plus these exhibits, and that's just gonna be a lot of work. Let's put people through some training. Oh, you see? yeah. Hey, Kathleen's here. Kathleen, welcome. I'm streaming Planet Zoo, and I'm really excited about it. I think we can afford another vendor, and I think having another vendor would really help. Okay. So yeah, we're doing pretty good right now. We have people coming into the zoo. Our guests are moderately happy. Um, I think we can actually, I think with two habitats with the, and the exhibits, I think we could probably get away with charging 12. I always like to make the kids tickets cheaper because it's a me thing, but you don't actually have to do that. There should be a, f a fantasy stories in which elves are the dominant group and humans are the declining group. Cool. Yeah, that's true, because I guess Lord of the Rings didn't really do it that way. Uh, this is a new zoo. This is a new zoo specifically for streaming purposes. That we are designing. I really wish I could fix this. And it's it's gonna bother me forever. Look at it, and people are coming in. Oh, I know what we can do. I know what we can do. We're gonna take a little time now to make the zoo pretty, I think. And the first thing we're gonna do is like this. Put down some lamp posts here for the people. Get some light for the people. Look at that. I just feel like if I was walking around a zoo at night, I'd be a little freaked out because I wasn't light anyone. People are pretty excited to come see these wolves. Um, and then out here, like these, like these. No, that's very obnoxious. That stand. That's better. <laughs> Look at that. Now you can kind of like see where you're going better. You know what? No one is like, where did these lights come from? What is happening? But like, this is just normal. This is my life. Just lights appearing from places. There we go. That's better. Put some. I like these a lot. Put these down by the pandas. I do be like that. I do be like that sometimes. So we've seen in reality, some groups have higher amounts of Neanderthal DNA. Therefore, it'd be expected for certain populations of elves in the story to have higher levels of mannish. I like that mannish. Your mannish heritage. Like, so easy, even a man can do it. That's what they would have for their car insurance ads. There we go. Look at this. This is, this is coming around. This is turning into something. This is where everyone wants to be right here. So they Clearly, people prefer the no barriers, but uh, it's not where the animals are at the moment. The animals are over here. Oh, see that? See that texturing on the glass? That means this has not been visited by a mechanic in a while. Let's fix that. I always forget, because for whatever reason, the barrier upkeep defaults at a year, which I don't think is good. YB, proof you have lampposts, now humans. Ooh, animals. <laughs> exactly. Like, now we can see... Who's upset? Why do you have low welfare? What's going on? Temperature. You were too hot right there? Okay, I'll fix that then. Hoping that was not gonna be the case. We'll fix that right there. Um, I still need to build those two things. What do we got here research-wise? Scorpion research. 
It's getting it done. The fact that elves are generally depicted as more magically inclined than men also supports. It's true. Unless they hurt themselves with their own magic. That would be awkward. Are we happy wolves? I think the wolves are happy. Oh, hey! Green iguana head off spring. That's exciting. Now, exhibit animals don't have to grow up. So, like, that one's already just kind of chilling here. So we're going to go ahead and um, send that to the Trade Center. And trade that one out. Just because they, they don't like living with too many. How, we, how are our animals doing? Hey, our scorpions are, pre our scorpions are pregnant. That's pretty cool. We have plenty of pandas. They're living their best life. Wolves are happy. This is good. Let's spend a little time making this pretty. Uh, I'll wait for the- once it gets to be like a good part of the day. Oh, that's pretty. I haven't looked at the surrounding spaces yet. That's a pretty sunrise. This tropical biome is very cool. Um... Once we get, like, good daylight, I'm going to pause it so it stays there, and then we'll do some zoo construction. Everyone's like, I want to stand here. Oh, there is one wolf. Okay, that's why. Is he, like, stuck there? Yeah, he's stuck there. Look at that. Hold on. Fox, animal. Move. Um, let's fix that. Let's fix that. There. Now nobody will go back there. Oh, my lily pads are levitating. As lily pads do. Uh, hold on. Oof. We, uh, this is the Pandora lily pad. Known for floating in the air for no reason. Basically, men either died out or were absorbed by elves long ago. That is not to say mannish cultures in the fantasy world would be unintelligent, as Neanderthals were actually quite intelligent, just not quite the same. Uh, it's 99 degrees, they have a reason to be overheated. I grew up with Celsius, so... For <laughs> yeah. Magic lily pads! Yeah, I know, everyone was over there looking at the magical lily pads, clearly. Clearly. Yeah, this game is designed for metric. Um, and you can turn it to standard or imperial or what the frick we're called here in the States. But, like, not all of it changes. So, like, my readouts change, but then if I click on stuff, it's like, here's the metric readouts. I'm like, that's nice. I have the game set to not metric, but okay. Okay, so, yes. Now I like this amount of day, so let's... Let's finish making the zoo pretty, yeah? Um, gardening. Let's not limit it by biome. Find some pretty plants. Uh, these are nice. I like these. Well, there was a thrift store a few towns over where I grew up called Lily Pads. Well, that's cool. I went to college in a city where the local ordinances banned um, thrift shops, or uh, pawn shops, for whatever reason. Uh, yeah, that looks okay. And so, there was this one place that wanted to be, it, it was like just barely not a pawn shop. It was basically a pawn shop, but it, it couldn't be one, legally. So, they, they named themselves better than a pawn shop, but on the sign, it just said pawn shop really loud. Or really, not loud, really large. Like, it was really large letters. It said pawn shop. And then on the side, in almost fine print, it said better than a... <laughs> and to this day, I just really appreciate that level of ingenuity. I really do. I mean, that's a level of ingenuity I would love to have in my own life. Mmm, that kind of went higher up than I wanted it to. 
Okay, so there, there we go. It's a nice stuff in the corners. Um, mulch circle? Nah, I don't need, I don't need mulch circles. Um, these are pretty. It's currently 72 degrees Fahrenheit in your room. Nice. I like it that warm. Uh, but that's because I have a critter that likes it warm. I'm very happy in, like, that degree. It's probably about what it is in here right now. Malicious compliance. Exactly. <laughs> very much so. I like these because these are pretty much like a weed. But they're like, pay $20 for something that's basically a weed. And I'm like, sure, that makes sense. That makes sense to me. Um, now what I would like here is not necessarily something floral, it's just going to regular plants. I'd like something like this. Yeah. I think that looks nice. I wish it- I wish- the game's physics, like, didn't let stuff like that bleed through walls, but I understand that's asking for a lot. There's been a while since you've been to a thrift store. Some people would say $20 for weed is a great- It depends on the weed, that is for sure. Although I would not recommend smoking this, because I don't- I don't know what it is. Um, so that's pretty. Now, let's look at... Hmm, what do we want to do here with the rest of this? We can do this. Some, like, rock textures. Actually, I really don't hate it as is, to be honest with you. Um, I think what we could do is go to construction. Architecture. And find something that's just like a nice fence. I should have something in here that's just a nice fence. I would think. So there's something in here has to be like decorative fencing. Uh, structural props maybe? No. Regular props? Oh, there we go. That's what I'm... It's closer to what I'm looking for. What is this? Classic fence? I don't see, I like that, but not as tall. Like, maybe if I did... Yeah, like that. This isn't bad. Uh, the only thing you smoke is noobs and PvP. What? Dropping it down, laying it down. Telling it like it is. We're just gonna have a gap there. It'll be fine. I don't even know if anybody in the zoo is gonna appreciate this, but you know, it's fine. I do this. Well, it's not too obnoxious. Can I do that here? So like if I do... Yeah, that's not bad. It's a small gap there, but that's okay. We'll just cheat that a little bit. No one will ever know. Can I get this back open so, like, I can, like, not have to keep hitting duplicate over and over again? That would be nice. There we go. Uh, I want to sit in a certain way, but then the computer went unplugged. I understand that. I know that plight so well. My, uh, the computer I use, like, my laptop. 
So it's getting older. So its battery is, it's not quite, it needs to be plugged in at all times bad, but it's, it's nearing that stage of its life. But it's also a 2015 computer, so like that I've abused the crap out of over time. So like it's 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 done its duty, you know. There we go. Hey, you know that's not miserable. You know that's. Oh, I should have made this an angle because I made all the other ones an angle. Hold on. I love the fake language in this game, it makes me laugh. Okay, there we go. Well, that's not going to be quite right. Um, that's close though. Wait, can I do this? Like, if I drop this and make it line up like that, it should be pretty close. Perfect. Uh, in reality, I've never been much for PvP. I'm not great at it either. Except that one time you somehow went on a 52 kill streak. That's impressive. Uh oh. Call keeper. Why are we having problems? I have two zookeepers. Should not be an issue. Computers from Christmas to almost a year. Ooh. Yeah, that's no good if you're already having battery problems. That's- I would be frustrated, too. I don't blame you in the slightest. Okay. So let's have a look here. We're all- this is pretty pretty. So now we just have these spaces where we can do some stuff. I am! I am because I'm a zookeeper. And it felt appropriate. For zookeeping. Some rocks down. At pseudo random. And then let's put down some of the same plants we already have somewhere. Some more of these. It's kind of a little haphazardly. Yeah. This way, if anyone comes to the zoo and they have allergies. They'll hate it and be miserable, which is perfect. I mean, what's the point of having allergies if you're not miserable? What pattern is it? Uh, it's <laughs> you would know better than I would. I'm I know it as camouflage. That it's it's like that. It's um dark green with some white in it. It's not a military hat. It's. I think it's actually like a band I've never heard of. It used to be my dad's. And he just got it at some sort of like festival or something and he liked it. I don't even think he cared about the band. And then he stopped wearing it and so I took it from him. I just unplugged your computer and it's at 61% and it locked you. <laughs> oh, that's a computer for you. That's a computer for you, right there. What it's doing makes sense in its own computer mind. Let's grab these. There we go. See, this is nice. Looking better. Walk in, it looks a little prettier. Let's add... Oh, I need to dress up the toilet also. Let's add a couple ATMs. Haven't done that yet, and people really like ATMs. There we go. Giant panda's about to mate. That's exciting. I'm gonna need a snack soon. Um, but first, let's dress up this toilet. 
is definitely ERDL derived, probably based on U.S. woodland pattern, influenced by the experimental urban variant of said pattern. Y you know, I was going to say the same thing. I love that you know all that stuff. Like, I never realized that there was, like, a logic to camouflage. Like, I just thought that there was camouflage. Like, that's so interesting to me. Why will you not do what I want you to do? No, don't, you know, don't join the group if you think it, if it's not going to do what I want it to do, you know? Oh, I see. It's just that it's not, huh, hold on. This is what we're going to do. We're going to build it over here. This is what we're going to do. I like that. Um, and then let's go to columns. Is there a column that either matches or doesn't match so well that it makes sense? Maybe that would be this. We're gonna guess that that's the middle. Actually, hold on. Walls. Walls. We're gonna make it look like this other thing. Where did you go? There you are. What is the band? It says day one. At least that is the name on it on the top on the front of the hat. Also, you got the seven sets of different tigers for the closet. I mean, I don't blame you. So it's that kind of roof. And then we'll do the same thing on the walls that we did over there, where we put like the glass stuff over it, because I thought that looked kind of cool. And I don't know if this is actually cool, but I think it's cool. So here we are. Come over, no, stop. Here, there we go. And then click on it and then move. Look at that. Doesn't really work at all. I want to move this individual piece. She's there. And I want to move this individual piece. There we go. That looks cool. It's starting to look a little bit more like a zoo. Uh, this game is making me nostalgic for Thrillville. Wasn't that the LucasArts roller coaster tycoon? Thinking of setting your profile pic to a meme, which one should you do? Ooh. I mean, you could do a Baby Yoda meme. You could do, like, Baby Yoda drinking the tea. Since we were talking about him earlier. It's always, a, it's always an option. I feel like I should just build these other two buildings already so that the game stops yelling at me for not having them. I don't want to, but I have plenty of money. We're at $40,000, so money is not the issue. It's just literally, I don't want to do it. Um, quarantine. I just need a small one. Not doesn't have to be that exciting. There we go. And then let's build a uh, workshop. There we go. Now the game will stop yelling at me to have those things. I think that was. Played it a lot on your Wii around 2009. It sounds about right. Alright, we can build something cool in here. Let's, um... Let's do this. Since this won't be in an exhibit, it won't really matter if this is in the 
range of the water purifier or not. Let's put a little pond in. There we go. That looks neat. Nature. Wonderful nature. Sorry, sometimes I get really focused on thinking and I forget to talk. Uh, what do we got? Also, random fact, you cut your chin shaving! And now your mask has blood stains inside. I am both sorry for you and also thinking about how cool that must look. You don't have to tell anybody it was from shaving. No one needs to know. I love the sound of the sprinkler. There we go, look at that. Wow, this has been two over two hours already. Holy crap. This game is so fun to play. Time just kind of goes by. Like the grass phasing out of there. Okay. That puts like a nice little space right in the middle of everything. Uh, aquatic? I'm gonna need to use the facilities here in a second. I'm sitting here for a while. Okay, let's avoid floating lily pads if we can help it. Here we go. Uh, I like that, it's just gigantic. There we go, that's nice. No, those are those are just obnoxiously tall. One kind of obnoxiously large tree I'm okay with. No, I'm not. I don't, now that it's there, I don't like how big that is. Um, there we go. That's good enough. That looks like I attempted to make it look nice. Uh, let me, uh, just change your profile pic to Baby Yoda with tea! Probably gonna show up and then, yeah. It'll take a little bit. YouTube's weird like that. Yours, yes. Yours is from your Star Wars guy. Mine is just a weird picture of my face. Alright, so what are we looking at now? Uh... Let's check on our staff. I feel like they can all stand to have a little bit more training. How are our vendors doing? They look okay. I only have the one vet. He's conducting research right now. Look at it. Look at it. Here's our uh, so scorpions. There's one of them right there. One of them on a cactus, because when you're a scorpion, you just don't care. Uh, I think there's four in here now, so the other one is right there. And there's one right there. Got a lot of cool scorpions. I think we just got more research for them. We did! Now I should be able to further improve their habitat. Okay, what do we like? That? That's cool. Mm. Mm. We're gonna do this one. Give them more places to crawl on. Perhaps I should go to the other part of your username and change the picture from an elf from Eldritch. We could. Change it up. Look at that. People are donating money. They're like, these things are cool. Okay. 
So the zoo looks much prettier. Um, we gotta start thinking about what we want to build next, habitat-wise. What animal are we interested in? Hmm. Where would I want to put it? Probably over here. Start building the zoo that way as well. You know, we got a lot of space. Let's, uh, let's run a marketing campaign. Run some marketing campaigns, get some more people in here. Danny the Dude, that's a cool name. Do I, uh, I don't usually set work zones. Sometimes I will. Um, like if I have a big exhibit, like a, a savanna exhibit that has a couple of different species in it, or like lemurs or macaques, something that has a lot of animals in it, and I know it's just going to need to be checked constantly, I'll do a work zone. So like that zookeeper goes there specifically. Um, or like that vet goes there specifically, but usually I don't. Is it strawberry season in Planet Zoo? Welcome, Django. <laughs> you better watch out. Django's mean. He's not. I'm mean. I'm meaner to Django. Well, no, Django's mean to me too. But we're really only mean to each other. Speaking of which, I recently subscribed to the Elder Souls Loot Crate. Oh! Although you ordered two days, Lucian, for the receive the most recent. That's sad. I feel like they should just grandfather you in at that point. Um. Let's put some pretty stuff up here, and then we'll start thinking about our next, what our next exhibit, or habitat will be. <laughs> it's always strawberry season when you're Django. That's true. That's very true. Django lives for strawberry season. Do that up. That looks better. Um, while we're here, let's add some educational boards. Oh. <laughs> One could say I mean, it's whatever you want it to be in your heart, really, at the end of the day. All right, let's educate the people. Amphibian extinction crisis, bee population decline, deforestation, a classic read, ecotourism, climate change, very important, uh, land sharing versus land sparing, I read that every night before bed, poaching and the exotic pet trade, uh, repair of the ozone layer. An underrated classic, I think. He did. Django did get his birthday present. So now it can be strawberry season whenever he wants. Yeah, that's nice. It's a little unexciting there, but it's nice. Um, let's add... Can we put some rocks down? Add a little bit of texture. There we go. We'll pick some plants and put those down. Remember Spy Fox? <laughs> I do remember Spy Fox. My cousins had a couple of the Spy Foxes games. I'd play them at their, play those at their house. Um, and then I had like a Spy Fox game where you could like build your own like. I don't even know what you would call it. It was just like a level where you would... It was like a chase level. I played... Man, all those humongous entertainment games. Like Freddy Fish. Putt Putt... I've thought about buying some of the humongous entertainment games because they're on Steam. Like Putt Putt Travels Through Time. Pajama Sam. I have no idea if people would find it interesting if I streamed those or not. So like, those are just classics.
I have to get used to seeing mods hovering in chats. I always get nervous. You haven't said anything problematic so far. We're pretty chill around here. As long as you're not, like, going after other people, I, I really don't care. The, the primary rule here is just, like, be nice to each other. And then, other than that. And, like, don't spoil things. <laughs> like, those are the two things. Um, yeah, I know, I have time to go out more than anybody else here. It's true. Hi, Freddy Fish is so good. I used to have a couple of Freddy Fish games. Like, those are just those 90s point-and-click classic, you know? Look at that, it's starting to look like a real place here. There's still a couple of spaces where we could fill in some stuff. Um, but I think, I think it's time for a new- well, this is kind of gross. This is a- not the video I want. Um, but I might not want to put something here, because I might want to put, um... <laughs> I just was about to say, I might want to put something in here. So I don't want to put something there. But I might want to put, like, um, food stands or something there. So I might leave that open for now. Well, Django and I are best friends, so that's why we do that. Uh, I think this is the third one was the evil poodle who owned a cosmetic skincare company and had a giant aerosol can space station playing, playing ozone. That's crazy. So that was, that was um, Spy Fox. I played, my cousins had the missing keys one, I think. And then I had, for Freddy Fish, I had the haunted schoolhouse and Pajama Sam. I had no need to hide when it's dark outside. I liked the sports games too. Those are really cool. Yeah, I think we'll put, end up putting some stands in there. So I'm not gonna fill in anything there yet. So uh, I am going to run to the restroom because I definitely need to. Uh, I want to know what you guys would like to see here, animal-wise. We we have big cats. We have uh, we already have panda bears, so I'd rather not do another bear exhibit. And we already have wolves, so I'd rather not do Arctic wolves. I won't get timed out today because I want MSU to win. There you go, exactly. What are you specific? Uh, <laughs> Django tries to get me to play horror games all the time. Um, I'm always down for, for game suggestions. Uh, I've, I have a couple of games I need to play. Actually, horror game-wise, I just purchased a game called Alan Wake that I've never played before. Uh, and I really want to stream that soon, and that might change up my schedule on what I was thinking of playing. Um, I have Mass Effect that I want to play. I have, um, what else did I buy? I bought Deus Ex Mankind Divided. I really want to stream that. I want to stream Bioshock yet. Uh, we have the Life is Strange, other Life is Strange games to play. I'm always down for suggestions, um, especially just for other games to learn to play. Dry Cereal, what about the goat who is trying to destroy all the cows? That sounds kind of familiar too. There are koalas in the, I think there are koalas in the Australian DLC pack. I just don't have the Australian DLC pack. Um, oh, we can add another thing to the scorpions now. I, uh, I don't mind scary games. I don't like scary games where you don't have guns. Like, I don't play Outlast games and that kind of thing. There are red pandas. We can do a red panda exhibit next. I'm totally down for some red pandas. Suggest so five. Oh, no. I would. No. <laughs> if you. I. No. I will not play Five Nights at Freddy's. I appreciate the suggestion, though. That is outside of... I've watched people play it. Um, if you like games like that, I have a friend named Flames Plays. Flames with a Z. Um, I'll find his channel really quick. He plays a lot of that kind of stuff. Where is he? Hold on. Give me two seconds. He's like the nicest guy, too. Flames Plays. Where are you? Here he is. I'm probably at death's door right now. You could hear his thing pop up. Check out this guy. He's got some Five Nights at Freddy's stuff. 
He's real nice. One of my one of my buds. Um, I do appreciate the suggestion, though. Uh, I will be right back. I'm going to run to the restroom, and then we will continue this.